The Republican Party has been thrown into unprecedented chaos as Republicans. Well, eight of them, along with Democrats, have voted to vacate the position of Speaker of the House, removing Kevin McCarthy from his speakership. Republicans, of course, have a slim majority in the House of Representatives. They have, in concert with Democrats, removed their speaker and now we are in uncharted, unprecedented territory as this has never happened before. There will be a new race for the speakership. Kevin McCarthy per NPR and a number of other media outlets will not run for speaker again after being removed. And it's really critical to understand that extremism is the reason we are even here today. McCarthy actually was removed for doing the right thing in this case, and it reminds us how extreme the MAGA wing of this Republican Party is. Kevin McCarthy struck a deal, at least in principle with Democrats, to keep government open. I believe government being open is a good thing. There are many Republicans who don't, and this gets to one of the structural advantages that Republicans have when it comes to funding of government and keeping it open, which we will get to. But all Kevin McCarthy did that, according to eight radical MAGA style Republicans, warranted removing him from the speakership as he said, hey, I think it's better to keep government open. And by the way, it's always Republicans who shut it down and Republicans who get blamed. Maybe it's not so good for us either. He said, let's figure out a way to keep it open. And he worked with Democrats to do that. Because he worked to avoid a government shutdown, we are now here with the removal of a Speaker of the House for the first time in history. Newt Gingrich, and, and by the way, part of the delight of all this, I want government open, I want programs funded, et cetera. Part of the delight in all of this is number one, that now they are going to have to waste time trying to get a new speaker, and number two, Republicans are turning on each other, eating each other, devouring each other, victims of the very monster they allowed to grow and fester. Here is Newton Gingrich, sorry, Newt Gingrich saying the eight Republicans are traitors and should be primaried. You love to see the implosion. Ninety six percent of the Republicans voted for McCarthy, four percent voted against him. From my position as a longtime Republican activist, they're traitors. All eight of them should, in fact, be primary. <laughs> they should all be driven out of public life. Good. They're MAGA lunatics. Do it. What they did was to go to the other team to cause total chaos. We ought to be focusing on Biden. We ought to be focusing on the economy. We ought to be focusing on the border. Instead, you're going to get a week or 10 days of the media focusing on Republican disarray. It's an astonishingly destructive behavior by a handful of egocentric people who think they're superior to 96 percent of the conference. He's basically right. I mean, where he's wrong is, you know, focus on Biden. I don't know if he means Biden's imaginary crimes or what. Focus on the economy. The economy's fine. It's not perfect, but like it's, there's no big economic crisis right now. Focus on the border. The border's fine. The border's closed. Yes, we have a problem in this country that goes back decades. It's not unique to Biden. It's not unique to right now. So that part I disagree with. But his analysis of the motivations and the egocentrism of the eight Republicans that chose to do this is pretty much spot on. Now, a few important considerations here. Uncharted territory. So when people say, well, what normally comes next in this situation? We don't know because this is not a normal situation. It's the first time a speaker has been removed in this way. Secondly, this wasn't the plan of the Republican Party. And again, only eight Republicans actually voted for this. So even Republicans don't know what comes next. Many are saying, how about Trump for speaker? We'll talk about that in a moment. Number three, Democrats could have saved McCarthy and they chose not to. And I believe that is the right decision. There are some who are saying and I really don't get this. There are some who are saying, you know, Democrats really should have supported McCarthy because McCarthy worked with them to keep government open. That's such a pathetically low bar. The bottom line is, if you're a Democrat, 
you shouldn't want McCarthy as speaker because you should want a Democrat as speaker. Now, you could say, well, if it's not McCarthy, it'll be a different Republican. Make them do that. Don't give them anything. If if you are a Democrat, the question you should be answering when you vote is of all the people in this house, is McCarthy the one I would want to be the speaker? The answer is obviously no, even if he worked with you on this thing. So Democrats did absolutely the right thing. And we are now going to see the House of, of Representatives grind to a halt, at least for the time being, as Newt Gingrich said. Now, this gets us to the structural advantage for Republicans on doing nothing. I'm actually writing about this in my forthcoming book, Echo, right now. When it comes to just obstructing and shutting down, Republicans have an advantage because there is this small government ideology which wants legislators doing as little as possible. They want to end multiple departments, energy, education, etc. They want government doing as little as possible. So you and I might see this and say this is yet again, these people are getting paid to do nothing. Many Republicans want them doing nothing. And so that's an important consideration. Remember, also, when we think back to Nancy Pelosi's speakership, Nancy Pelosi also had a very small majority for Democrats. Often we are now hearing, well, you can't expect Republicans to really get anything done because they have a very, very small majority. Nancy Pelosi also had a small majority and she governed in a way that was far less chaotic and far more logical. She would make sure that when votes got to the floor, she knew exactly what was going to happen. Republicans got this vote going. They didn't even know what the outcome was going to be. So uh, that's one thing. And then the other thing, there's a really horrible history for Republicans with speakers. Newt Gingrich speaker starting in 94 ended up resigning in shame after being caught in an affair and destroyed the midterms for Republicans. Dennis Hastert, can we say he was a child molester or an alleged child molester who settled? Uh, John Boehner chased out by the radical Tea Party completely failed. Paul Ryan just basically quit and said, I'm out and, and because of the Trumpian wing of the party. And now Kevin McCarthy ousted by his own members, own fellow Republicans. So consider the contrast with Nancy Pelosi. Consider the chaotic contrast to what Democrats and Joe Biden are doing pharma, pharma negotiations to lower prices on 10 important drugs and Chips Act, Inflation Reduction Act, student loans. I mean, it's, it's just the contrast could not be more significant. And this now gets us to what did Kevin McCarthy have to say about all of this? 